All right, today we are starting with Fast versus Ahmad in the upper bracket final. It's going to be a double elimination bracket handled with a bracket reset if needed in the grand final. Chat, here we go. We got Fast versus Ahmad on EU servers. This is our first match we've had on our stream of the crossover between the two regions in next gen. If you don't know what next gen is, maybe this is the first match you're tuning into either today or on YouTube. It is a tournament of players underneath 15 years old. 15 years old being the minimum age you need to be to play in the RLCS. So these are the up and coming great players. And right now, this is the winner's finals of Ahmad versus Fast. Fast for the US, Ahmad from Iraq. The match is gonna be played on EU servers. So about 100 ping for Fast and about 80 for Ahmad. So certainly an advantage for Ahmad, no doubt. Fast used to playing on 30 or so ping, where I said, I think Ahmad likely queues a ton of EU in the process of getting as highly rated in ones as he is. But I think Fast still comes in today confident Talking to him last night, I think we were both watching maybe AJ's stream, and he said he's going to win it all today. So we'll see how he does against the player looking the best out of the Middle East side. Bash just kind of handed one for free over to Ahmad. Ahmad able to take it off the back wall in for a second goal. We also slightly changed the overlay today. If you guys are here, maybe for the first time, you weren't here yesterday, you probably noticed the new overlay. But it's also slightly edited from yesterday. Can anybody point out what it was? Could they tell right away what we changed about it? Because we have been nitpicking it left and right. But I do think it was a very clear improvement that we made from yesterday. Flag shape, darker names. Yeah, no, and more transparent. No, yeah, no. So it's, it's, it's nicer. That's the difference. No, it is slightly smaller. I'll, I'll say the person who said smaller wins, skinnier. Yeah, so it was really wide yesterday. It was really wide. There was way more space on the score, like board where the scores and the time was. It was just, it didn't need to be so wide. So it was pulled in a little bit. And I think when we looked at the two, it was just obviously much better. So. I don't expect to make tons of changes to it forever, but so far, we've been trying to get it just right. You know who's trying to get his ones game just right right now? is fast, as he has not been able to get anything through Ahmad's defense so far, and he's going to go to the reset as his first way of getting past. Great setup off the wall. Good distance from the back wall in order to force Ahmad out. If you try and set up those wall-to-air dribbles any closer, from those back corners, then Ahmad can camp and intercept with a single jump, but at that distance, there's no way he's gonna get to the play. Fast is being really patient. Are we gonna see a full field dribble? No, he is. Oh wait, no, he is. He, he moved around the ball weird, then I thought he was gonna cut it to the ground. The musty, look at this shot from Fast. Fast all the way from the back corner. Couldn't find some offense earlier in the game, but he's found it now. A crazy 117 kilometer per hour shot. That is a huge shot from Fast to tie the game. Fast right now holding it down for the US side of the bracket because we started the rounds earlier for the lower bracket. Dark was able to eliminate Devo. That is the North American Devo, not the Rocket League legend Devo. And great placement by Ahmad on a nice bounce dribble, or was it, I believe he, he got it up in the air, yeah. Um, and then Dark, or sorry, Dr. Known is playing Scribbles right now, and I wanna say, last I checked, Dr. Known was in the lead on Scribbles, so if Dr. Known's able to get the win, then Fast will be the only North American left in the tournament. And he would love to be able to win it all. But what he needs to do right now is clean up his, what's well, not backfield, you know, clean up his play around Ahmad's net because his greed there has resulted in a few different wide open takes for Ahmad. And really, those are the difference in the game right now. If you get to clean those up, it'd still be square. 
Hard first touch out to center field. Fast, got a ton of movement on it. But Ahmad, able to intercept. Ahmad's defense has been so impressive. I want to watch this again. I think he played a little bit too slow. We're not going to get to see it. But fast with the double reset. Gets the kind of movement that you wouldn't expect a defender to be able to read. But Ahmad is there. Big kick out from Ahmad. OG Devo is retired. Is that true? I thought he was playing on some teams, some just lower level teams in RLCS. I didn't think he was fully retired yet. Ahmad from the ceiling. Oh my goodness, the placement is just about perfect. It doesn't go in, but Fast is forced to try and make a save. Able to use the front flip to tap it with the tail end of his car off the ceiling and the follow-up makes him up 6-2. Fast was looking, honestly, at least equally matched for the majority of the time on this clock, but now he's gonna be playing heavily from behind for the past minute, or sorry, for the last minute. I'm not gonna go for a pinch, no boost to work with. Gonna need an incredibly friendly bounce for it to score. Fast gonna wait it out. He can't wait too long. He does now have to play with a bit of urgency. Fast full field dribble, and you feel like the game hangs in the balance of the result of this one. And if he loses it to Ahmad, not sure if he's gonna be able to regain possession and start getting the offense going like he needs to. Ahmad reset, top shelf. And that just might be the dagger in game one. Yeah, fast. He's going to agree. He wants to go next. The shot from Ahmad. Filthy. Do you want a new server fast? Here, I'm going to uh, gonna end this game. If he wants another server, we can go to another server. For the overlay. Need the game to end. Game number two. Fast in the Fennec this time around. Recognize that the Fennec has extreme one's power. Amma though, immediately winning a kickoff to take over in the lead. Amma looks the most complete out of any player in this tournament. Yeah, he has looked really solid. Fast has looked like a well-rounded player as well, if I'm being honest. Trouble for him though, is that Amma seems to be just a bit better. I'm going to bail off as fast sets up a dribble flick over the top of Ahmad. He couldn't decide whether or not he wanted to approach the ball or shadow. You see him turning away and ultimately turning right back and making an aggressive challenge. Fast has a read on that when it's coming from so far away. Fast with zero boost after the demo. Go soft! And the secret is that I don't think he could have hit it hard. He didn't really have a lot of boosts to work with. But Ahmad respawning feels like he has to fly past the ball. But in reality, if he had recognized that Fast had no boost, he might have made it more direct play. Fast. Huge long shot. I'm gonna take this opportunity to steal the back corner boost, but I'm at guess the first clear. Doesn't have a lot to work with. Really just pan this away from himself. No, he's gonna keep it close. Try and win a 50. A little bit dangerous. He's fast. If he gets a favorable 50, he's likely to win the race back to the other side of the field. You'll see a lot of players in those zero boost situations just launch a pretty basic shot on net, and it's just a way to buy themselves time to get boost and reset. Fast. The full field in front of him. A little camera check to see where Ahmad is hiding. He's going to fake the flick this time. Go low. 50 and force it through. Fast. Finding a bit of offense now. Ahmad has been fairly passive on defense. We saw him turn a challenge after... I should say he set up very passive the time that he was headed back to net and then decided to turn back and make a deep challenge. We saw that flick over the top of him, but 
It seems clear he prefers a long distance shadow. Wave dash kick out for fast doesn't go as he would have hoped. Replacement from Ahmad to guarantee that goal. I'm not trying to get another kickoff goal. In fact, I think my, I might have three kickoff goals. Because he started this game with a direct kickoff goal, and now he has two more. So he's tied the game completely on the kickoffs. And, you know, you don't need me to tell you how important kickoffs are in the 1v1 game. I'm not really making it simple for people to understand. But even when you're not directly scoring within three seconds of the kickoff, they're still ultra important because fast going to show why right here. Even though he doesn't score immediately, Ahmad never has a chance to control the play. The whole time he is spending trying to get the ball out of his net, Fast eventually scores. Fast is going to try and get an immediate goal. He actually does it with ease. I thought this angle was going to be a bit tougher than it was, but Fast doesn't seem to think so. Fast playing a bit of damage control as he reverses into that 50 after the kickoff. Amat's flicks looking solid. He's going to slot another one just underneath the crossbar. Nice little wave dash onto the wall, too, to catch back up to the ball. Look at the placement there. I mean, Amat, he's got it on point. Eros, thank you for the gifted sub over to Life RL6. And Hootie, thank you again for helping cover the next gen. Much appreciated. Please go check out. Twitch.tv slash hootie who. If you haven't seen it before, a little fake reset from fast. Puts the lead back up at two. Did Dr. Known win the lower bracket game? Yo, Hootie, thank you for the 10 months as well. I think last I tuned in, Dr. Known was leading. Look at this pop from Ahmad. Oh my goodness. What is this shot from Ahmad? We're going to watch from fast on defense, but such a strong first touch. He pops it so far away from himself. And he gets back to the ball while fast is just trying to react on the goal line. He can't make the save. Yeah, 3-0 sweep. The crossovers have all started now. So the first two crossovers between the Middle East and North America have went in the way of sweeps for the Middle East players. Right now, Ahmad is actually technically on track for that as well. Fast doesn't want that to be the case, and a fake will get him a seventh goal. All of North America's hopes now lie on Fast and his performance in the tournament. Like I said from the beginning, it's always going to be tougher the way that I set up the format for the North American players. Having to play on that away server against the Middle East uh, participants of the tournament is not ideal. Look at this shot, dude. These guys are absolutely throwing haymakers back and forth at each other. Ahmad, the dribble resets. Gets just enough extra speed for Fast to not be able to react. Ahmad, Walte air dribble to tie the game. Lean back reset. The musty goes low underneath Fast. We are all tied up. Fast has been trying to react off this back wall, but no matter where he goes, he cannot seem to intercept Ahmad. How come we never see ones players from OCE and Sam? I think we do see ones players from Sam. I think we see Yan, Card, KV1. I think Bems is high on the leaderboard. I think we see a good amount as Fast loses this kickoff and i'm not able to take the lead oce is a little bit more separate from the other regions fast look at the wall dashes wow he actually made a big mistake by leaving Ahmad with the ball but the wall dashes were pure in order to bring him right back and clear it this game was looking good for him early on but so much scoring has eventually led to an Ahmad lead fast reset out of the corner. We're watching it from the defender's perspective. 
I might be able to get down to the ground just in time to stop the ball from sneaking in that bottom corner. Fast, looking to try and steal boost. Ahmed has enough to reach this ball high, though. A very weak shot. It's going to be a quick counterattack for Fast. He couldn't get enough power on it to not let Ahmad still make a play on it. And Fast is trying to challenge him at ceiling height. Ahmad gets to carry it in for free after that ceiling height challenge does not work out. Ooh. Ahmad able to move the ball right at the moment Fast was hoping to intercept. Minute left to go. Fast. Trying to tap this. The center field, Ahmad's carry goes the whole entire length. Interesting. That power shot from Fast, I mean, that, that just seems like a big mistake. That was a clear moment where he should have taken control of the ball and made some kind of strong effort on Ahmad's net. Nice undercut. Actually, it makes it possible to score this. It can't pop it over the top. But like I was saying, Fast just launched the ball away. And right now he's just trying to make these shots from so far out of the net. Fast, can he score this one? No, even when Ahmad makes a mistake, he makes it back. Fast, his back is against the wall. Oh, he's out of this match. He's gonna go change out of that Fennec, presumably. Ahmad will get a 10th, and I believe we can watch it from his perspective. So you can see this last little dish in. The comeback from Ahmad in game two means a 2-0 lead for him in this best of five. Seems like we have Fast in the same Fennec he was in before, from what I can tell. Big kickoff. It's going to lead to Fast controlling the ball in the corner. Ahmad demoed and Fast taking his sweet time, but is going to get the goal. Cheeky bump. Oh, look at this play from Fast. Able to dive into the corner, steal Ahmad's boost, then bump him in to push him away, and then he doesn't hit the ground. He doesn't hit the ground. He uses the flip that he has after getting popped off the wall to push the ball towards the net. Get a second goal. Another kickoff win for Fast. That's what you need to do. Want to control a one's game, but he's got to do it for all five minutes. Impressive mechanical shot, but I'm uh, able to keep it out like he has been able to so many times. Fast, great last second movement. Catches back up with the ball. Is able to push it past Amai with a reset. Goes through the net slow, but goes through the net nonetheless. Ahmad, dunked by Fast. Fast has been all over the field in this first minute. His recovery is able to stop the possession in the long shot. Wow, Fast. I don't think Ahmad was expecting this to happen. He sees Fast take it away here, goes to dive it and steal his corner boost. What he doesn't know is Fast has perfectly dropped the ball to himself for a long shot. Ahmad now faking the original air dribble and fast just comes off the wall, steals it away, and gets a goal. Not sure why Ahmad hasn't taken that air dribble. He's looked so good in the air against fast. But maybe he just felt like that ball was a bit too close to net. Would rather try and fake it and take the ball to the ground. But 
He almost would have been better off not jumping. If he doesn't jump at all, then he can constantly threaten that he'll attack the ball, which almost makes Fast not able to come and make a play on him. This is going to be the first goal for Ahmad. Nice cut. But when he jumps up in the air to fake the dribble and then come back down to the ground, that's when Fast knows he can intercept because he sees a falling Ahmad. He knows for the next couple seconds he will be falling and he can't make a play on the ball. So he can catch back up and intercept. I'm not going to start the comeback that he did in the previous game as well. This time letting five in before getting his first. Fast, strong first touch. Ends up going for the 50. I'm not covers the net well. Both these players, by the way, 14 years old. We have some 13 year old players in next gen as well. But I'm not being the oldest player, 14 years old, 11 months. Certainly will not be playing in any future next gens. So this is his last chance to win one. Whereas Fast, I believe, might still be able to play in a second next gen, depending on how quickly we were to uh, run another one. Two straight now for Ahmad. Great early at the midfield. Ahmad, kickoff goal. Third. It feels when fast, or when fast, anyways, when fast uh, gets his leads, that he is going to be able to hold Ahmad off, that he has changed the pace of play, but Ahmad has proven that to not be the case multiple times now. Fast dribble. Far away in his own half and is able to top, tap it over the top of Ahmad. Ahmad electing to try and challenge him just inside the box. And had Fast gone down for any sort of reset, it would have been just fine. This is another one of those questionable first touches from Fast. Watch him turn it into something and prove me completely wrong. Actually, gets a great shot. But I felt like launching the ball into the corner there was not the best thing to do, considering he's just giving Ahmad a chance to stop him. He could just control since the touch was into the corner and not really play on net. But Fast cannot score. Ahmad holds him off. Early flick is all Ahmad feels like he can do with the boost that he has. The demo, though, will likely be a goal. Had just enough to chase Ahmad down. Knew he was gonna, or sorry, chase Fast down. He knew he was gonna get the save and look to win the race to the corner boost. So two goal deficit for Ahmad to make up. Fast electing to back off into his corner as opposed to trying to steal away that possession. Now it's gonna be Ahmad from the air. Fast from the ceiling. Ahmad slams it down. But likely the way that Fast was setting up his defensive stand made Ahmad want to shoot quickly. And that was the answer, Fast! He just owned gold! I mean, I know he didn't actually own goal, but he did. Because if you jump up with that little amount of boost and you don't score your open net, instead you just push it off the backboard, you are basically own goaling. A minute left to go. And a lead for Fast still. But you can feel it slipping out of his hands. The way Ahmad has been coming back. Power shot directly at the net. Once again, Ahmad trying to steal that corner boost after somewhat standard play on net. This time he can't do so. Fast making sure Ahmad leaves the play by chasing him down a little bit. His power shot. Not what Fast needed. Ahmad's going to take a wall to air dribble. Ceiling reset to tie the game in the late moments. The musty Fast the save. Able to push it off the crossbar. Really take the ball immediately back at Ahmad where he wastes a bit more time. He probably could afford to play a slower dribble, but it doesn't matter because he's going to score. Ahmad who's been impenetrable on defense. What feels like all series long is going to let a bit of a weak touch back behind him through. 17 seconds. I'm at delay kickoff. 
Not a bad way to try and get a cheeky quick goal. Get another chance. Getting one more. Fast. Trying to keep the ball high. Out of the out of boost Ahmad's hands. And I think he's done it. Whether he scores or not, doesn't really matter now. Ahmad will get his first game win. Bring it to two to one. As he tries to reverse sweep in this winner's final. Game number four. Can Bass bring it back? Going into that grand final without having to worry about, you know, it being your last life, having two chances at winning the tournament is something that is likely going to be hard or even impossible to overcome. Rawas showed that he could do it in Next Gen 3, but I do think that, that is going to be a rare occasion. We're going to see those kind of bracket reset runs. So a lot on the line here for Fast and Ahmad, and Ahmad gonna score first in game number four. These two dancing around the ball at the midfield, and it is gonna result in an Ahmad goal. Pass just didn't know what to do with the ball. He's like, I don't want to. I don't want to tap it towards my half because I think that'll just be a pass. So he pulls back off of it, but doing nothing was just as bad. He had to do something. Nice demo with the ball rolls so high on the back wall that he might not get a goal from it. I might get a pretty unfortunate spawn. What a fifty! I'm impressed that he even stood a chance at getting the save. I think if Ahmad spawns on the other side, he probably gets to turn and attack the ball much cleaner probably stops the scoring attempt, but because he spawned almost behind the play, the ball is rolling just past him. Made it as awkward as possible. Slow fast down. Fast is currently own goaling again. This time very unforced. Just slamming the ball off the back wall and not sure what he's hoping to happen from that sequence. But we've seen that a few times from him. Able to erase that mistake immediately with a kickoff directly into the net. A lot of the top players and the way they play ones actually do have the spirit of what I think Fast is maybe trying to go for. No first killer does this a lot. Lupo definitely has a tendency to do this. Great shot from Ahmad. As he rolls it in from the back wall, fast, trying to shadow closely. He's not gonna be able to prevent this goal, but just playing with speed over all else. Lots of top ones players seem to like to do that and they just trust in their mechanics to take them the way Definitely seen that from Fast, but a few times he hasn't been able to keep up with his own touches. A few kickoff goals in a row. Gonna create a bit of a gap for Ahmad. Ahmad diving. It's actually a great wave dash 50 from Fast. Had to move his car pretty far out of the normal way you see them. They lean back. Got the 50 and then still landed back down with the dash. Respawn for Ahmad. Puts him right in position to send the ball away fast. He's not been going for these air triple bumps much. He's been usually trying to pull back off for 50s, but fast intercepts and scores. The defense for Ahmad has been the answer in the games that he's won. Not a terrible setup from fast by any means, but Ahmad does such a good job of covering his various options. Another extremely delayed kickoff from Abad. We saw that when he was trying to catch back up in the previous game, down two. This time he's gonna bring it out while up four. Did Fast do enough? Seems like he did. Prevent Abad from getting this goal. Fast in reverse. Cannot flip 
into the corner until he's able to flick the ball. So you see him slowly gathering it. Or I should say he can't flick until he's aimed at the boost because he needs to pick up the boost. Fast. Popping this high. And just testing Ahmad over and over again. And Ahmad with the great patience gets demoed, but did not go until the real shot actually came. Another strong opportunity for Fast, and he goes underneath this time. A third goal. As more than enough time to bring it back. I'm not trying to pre-jump it. Just a bit too high. Fast has spent a lot of time in reverse the past couple minutes. I'm not playing the dribble slow, and he actually was trying to demo fast. He tried to take the ball to the corner and demo fast, but it went the other way. Fast able to demo him. And now the threatened hook shot. Fast goes off the near post and can't quite get it in. Not a bad idea to try and get Ahmad flying to the different sides of the net, but have to get that finish. Fast dribble forced off the crossbar by Ahmad. Fast interrupts this possession. Ahmad's trying to play it really quick. Just a pass to himself on the side while an immediate shot. I think Fast, once again, has to score on this possession, and he does, assuming he doesn't tap this over the top of the net. The ball is flying in. This was a really crucial play. It was a position that was obviously very advantageous for Fast. Crossing under the minute mark. Down three. If he wasn't able to score there, game is likely secured by Ahmad, but now there's still a chance. Kickoff wins and boost advantage. Those are the things to look for when a player is trying to make a late game comeback. It's so hard to do if you can't control the ball early and if you can't control the boost to enable yourself to make a play fast. The bump! He protects the ball! And Ahmad cannot go through him. It doesn't seem like your classic air dribble bump because really he just creates a barrier between Ahmad and the ball. And it's able to roll in, or I should say fall in, for a fifth goal. So 25 seconds left to go. Any cheeky kickoff strategies from Fast? I don't know if that was intentional. But he swings super wide on the kickoff to a position that Ahmad can easily see is a mistake, but now he's got himself a really good opportunity. Oh, he tried to use as little boost as possible, and now he's in trouble. He didn't want, wait, Ahmad, the miss. Fast is gonna be able to control. Oh, he missed a boost, Fast! He needed that so bad. Oh, if he just got the boost. He was about to get a full field dribble on Ahmad, but he missed the pickup. So Ahmad will win the series. Another close one. But Ahmad goes to the winners, or sorry, the grand finals, winning 3-1 over fast.